Hey, this is Dr. Newhouse. Uh, i got another video for you. This uh, is a patient who has what we call a venous stasis ulceration. It's a wound that's due to poor circulation, actually, with the veins. Um, in this situation, the lady came from a, uh, actually another country and has this wound, um, has had it for several years, had treatment there, which was just basic wound care, putting creams and such on it. What I'm going to do today is use a uh, bandage. Um, this is actually called Fibrocol that I'm putting on. You can see that I tear it. It's a, like a foam dressing that absorbs a lot of drainage. These wounds tend to drain a lot. So what I'll do is I'll put this on there to help absorb the drainage, and then we wrap it with what's called an unaboot. An unaboot is uh, nothing more than basically a gauze wrap uh, with zinc oxide, kind of the same stuff you'd use for a sunburn or to prevent a sunburn. Um, comes in a roll, rolls on very easily. You have to control the swelling. That's really the trick with a venous stasis ulceration like this is to control the swelling. Um, so people that have this problem, um, you can see the legs very swollen. It's red. It drains a lot. Um, by wrapping it with the Unaboot, um, you compress that and get the fluid out of it, um, squishing the fluid up the leg. Um, most people will wear this for anywhere from, uh, I typically tell them, three to, to five days, depending on... Um, on the severity of the problem. In this case, uh, because this is very large, it needs to be changed every two or three days. I was changing this in the office and this uh, wound has actually gone on to, to heal very nicely. Um, <clears throat> shrinking up a little bit every day. Um, you can see the, the wrap goes on very easy. It is very um, very moist. It does not dry up like a normal cast would, though it I do call it a cast. We put some extra gauze on over the top because it's real wet and uh, can make a mess on the floor or in your shoe. Um, it's not going to harden up. It's going to stay flexible, but it certainly does um, minimize the motion across the area. And the biggest thing is it controls the swelling. So after we put the wrap on, um, this patient will be instructed to wear a surgical shoe and just limit her activity, but she can go ahead and do whatever she wants. The downside to these is you do have to keep it dry. Um, so you got to cover this with a, a bag of some sort if you're going to bathe. If you get it wet, you cannot um, take it off and put it back on like you could an ace wrap or something like that. Um, I secure the outside with a wrap called Coban. Um, the Coban is real stretchy, also a little bit compressive, and uh, adds a, a good layer of compression to help, uh, again, to control the swelling. We control the swelling, that allows the body to heal up the wound, and uh, people do great with a problem like this. A wound of this size, which is about you know 8 or 10 centimeters, uh, will take a few weeks to heal um, several treatments like this, but uh, as I said, we're able to, to get a wound like this to heal up without a lot of difficulty. So I hope you uh, can see from the pictures here the progress that we make between uh, the before treatment picture and uh, the weekly pictures that we've taken that uh, treatment for a venous stasis ulceration with an Unaboot can be very, very successful.